Well, welcome back gamers, Russ Lyman here, and it being the month of November, perhaps you heard of No Shave November, putting down that razor and growing out the beard. So we're counting down my top three favorite gaming beards. There's certainly plenty of video game characters out there that sport the beard, or perhaps a longer mustache. But let me just give you a little insight on No Shave November though. The goal of No Shave November is to grow awareness embracing our hair, which many cancer patients lose. Donate the money that you typically would spend on shaving and grooming to educate about cancer prevention and save lives and aid those fighting in the battle. So as you can see, it all goes to a great cause. Let's lead into my number three gaming beard. Number three. Well, coming in at number three is Beer Hugger from the series Super Punch-Out or Punch-Out in the Arcade. And essentially, Beer Hugger first appeared in the arcade version of Super Punch-Out. His appearance resembles a Canadian lumberjack. However, with the lack of an undershirt. His appearance also resembles a hillbilly. He's definitely got that thick, full beard, and you can always put it into a little knot at the bottom there in some pictures, but it's nice and full. Definitely what you would see with a lumberjack, so he's definitely put in the time to grow that bad boy out. He is sporting a shaved head though, so the hair's gotta go somewhere, I suppose. And when you're playing him in the Super Nintendo version, you try to punch him in the stomach and your hand kind of gets stuck to it. And you have to hit him when he taunts you or he goes up with both hands. You'll be able to punch him in the face and get some blows in. Very similar to that of King Hippo in the original Punch-Out. He did make a return to the Punch-Out Wii version and he was the second opponent in the major circuit. His opening cutscene shows that he's actually managed to tame a bear to be his boxing partner. <laughs> Pretty epic. Number two. And well, coming in at number two is our favorite Russian fighter, Zangief. Also known as the Red Cyclone, apparently. Didn't know that. And this is a video game character from the series Street Fighter. First appearing in Street Fighter 2, he is a national Russian hero who is always seen fighting for the glory of his country. Zangief is a massive fire weighing 400 pounds and standing slightly over seven feet tall placing him as one of the tallest characters in the entire Street Fighter roster. Since his debut in Street Fighter II, The World Warrior in 91, Zangief has been portrayed with a beard and a mohawk, along with a uniquely shaped formation of chest hair on his torso and on his shins. So you can tell this guy is no stranger to facial hair and hair all over his body. He definitely sports an awesome thick beard, and he's a great fighter. Nice and powerful for taking down those opponents. And well, before we get to my number one, I want to hear what the other guys at Pixel Game Squad have to say on this topic. All right, everyone. So my favorite bearded character in games is my boy Ryu. But not my boy basic Ryu. This is, you know, this is old school Ryu, clean cut Ryu. No, I need my boy hot Ryu right here with the beard and the stash. This is where I get my inspiration, look. But like, honestly, like this Ryu I always felt looked a little bit more manlier. He looked like, like when he kicks you, it hurts a little bit more, you know, than usual. <laughs> but what's funny is like once they asked me like to speak about him, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna search a little bit of history. And he was actually, not called Hot Ryu before. They actually changed the name from Battle Costume Ryu to Hot Ryu because people were saying that he's way hotter with the beard, he's like more sexier, manlier, you know, they had him with no shirt, six pack and everything. So they officially started calling him Hot Ryu. And I got proof. Let me know if I'm wrong though, I'm, I mean, I might be wrong, but Hot Ryu right there, baby. Oh yeah. Happiness. Oh, hi, Gabo here. I don't know if I ever told you, my favorite video game character be with beer, it has to be Kratos. 
I don't know if I ever told you that I love God of War. Who doesn't like Kratos? Especially old Kratos. Look at that beard, man. Um, what I love about Kratos is the ultimate anti-hero guy. It's an awesome story. You should shake it. If you never play God of War, do me a favor. Play it! Well, those were certainly some great choices. Now onto my number one video game character with a beard. Number one! And that is Dr. Light from the Mega Man series. Dr. Thomas Light, known as Dr. Thomas Wright in Japan, is the creator of Mega Man and Mega Man X series. Before the Mega Man games in the 20th century, Thomas Light attended the Robot Institute of Technology, where he ended up graduating with Dr. Wiley and was nominated for a Nobel Prize for Physics. I mean, he probably should have had some prize for that epic beard that he was growing out. Now he's definitely got a full-on beard looking much like Santa Claus almost. It's a full white fluffy beard to go with his white hair as well and it's nice and full. He definitely grooms that bad boy daily. Kind of curious how come he never invented any robot masters that help with grooming or at least had a beard. Some robots with beards. There we go. Now we're on to something. Yeah, I wonder what the developers were thinking when they decided to draw him with a beard and Dr. Wily kind of got the crazy mustache. Maybe more crazy psychotic people have mustaches and not beards. You're more likely to trust someone with a beard. All right. Well, guys, I hope you enjoyed this fun Top 3 Tuesday with video game characters with some epic beards and you got some information about No Shave November. If you guys want to help out the cause, there'll be a link in the description down below. And as always, gamers, I'm Russ Lyman, and keep your world fun bit by bit. I'll see you next video.